I remember a conversation I had when I was in my early 20s with a Christian, just an evangelist, street side. And she said to me, all you need is Jesus. And I said, I could say that, but I still wouldn't believe it. I was not ready to worship Jesus. I still wanted to worship false things. One of the false things that I worshiped was marijuana. My life at that time, was filled with hypocrisy. When I was a sophomore in college, I was working for the university. I was an RA, a supervisor, in one of the freshman dorms. It was my job to make sure that the students weren't breaking the rules, to make sure that they weren't getting high or anything. I remember going up on the roof and going out there and smoking marijuana, coming back into the building and making the nightly supervisory rounds. I had a wonderful girlfriend and yet, I went to a friend's wedding. I went by myself. And after the wedding, uh, I was getting reacquainted with an old friend. We were drinking, we were dancing. She said to me, do you have a girlfriend? I said, no. I was at the end of everything. I was unemployed. I was at the end of my lease. I was not only broke, I was in debt. I had been using a credit card to take out cash advances to buy marijuana. And in spite of that, God had brought Christians into my life. One evening, two Christians were with me at my apartment and one of them said to me, can I pray for you? I said, okay. She called upon the Lord and he answered. And something lifted, something lifted from my heart. I felt this joy, I felt this peace, this new experience. It was unlike anything I had felt up until that time. And I was flooded with memories. And one of the first memories to hit me was this conversation from years before where this Christian was telling me, all you need is Jesus. And for the first time, it made sense to me. All these times Jesus had brought Christians into my life to speak truth to me. All these times he had protected me when I was making terrible decisions. And I could just see how faithful he had been, how he had been pursuing me, and how every single time, blind to what was going on, I had turned and run away. I was suddenly open to what he was doing, and I was ready to repent, and I was ready to receive him. I was ready to say, yes, Jesus, you are Lord. I'm just so grateful for what he did on the cross, for his resurrection, how that made his work possible to change me. He set me free so that I don't have to put illegal things in my body. I don't have to indulge in that false, dark type of worship. He set me free to date righteously. He set me free from a whole mess of, of sins and deception. As far as the East is from the West, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. I know the future path is gonna to be tough. I know it's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be a struggle. I know there's gonna be setbacks. I know there's gonna be suffering, but I know that his word is true. I love Isaiah. He says, fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you pass through fire, you will not be burned. Thank you so much, Jesus. My name is Dave Miller, and this is my story of grace.